I didn't think that we needed to have this conversation, but has been brought to my attention that I just think we got to cover some bases here because the Asia getting wave has some has has enlightened a, a new level of fear <laughs> that you guys believe your fave is now on the chopping block of getting waved. And I just I'm here to say that, that that's just not the case. What is the one thing that we continue to say about this draft class? They are special. Those are a special group of players. But I also think they have us a little naive because of their, their talent and their ability right now to transition and make an immediate impact for a lot of them. You guys think that that is the standard and that all rookies need to be playing and having minutes um, like such. And uh, that's just not the way this usually works. Right now, this draft cast, it feels like it, they are an anomaly. They, this That is typically not what this looks like. In most situations, it's not unusual for rookies not to play. Like that usually is the norm, honestly. For most players, it takes typically like three years for them to find their legs and to start making an immediate impact on a team for most players. But because of this draft class, again, being special, uh, and we got like five or six players who right now are getting large set of minutes, putting up great numbers on their team. You guys think that, hey, if they're doing it, everyone should be doing it. And that's just not the reality for most players. So now we got everybody in a panic right now. You're thinking in your head, well, my fave isn't playing. They just waved the Asia. So obviously, my hey, somebody's on the chopping block. There's a good chance my fave may be getting cut as well. Guys, 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 take a deep breath, relax, because that is not the reality of the situation right now. What happened with the Asia and the Aces is what we would like to call a series of unfortunate events. For most teams, once their roster is set, like it's set, the only thing where things start moving, people start getting pushed around, we start waving people, cutting people, adding people in, is when injuries occurred. And that is what took place with the Aces right now. Remember, Chelsea Gray, their starting point guard, is out with a lower leg injury. And we have no idea when she is going to be back. Right now, we have Jackie Young playing the entire game for the team. She is putting so much minutes on her body, that's not going to fly. The Aces need a backup point guard. The Asia was struggling on the defensive end, grasping concept, implementing them so therefore they needed to bring in a point guard who can immediately make an impact on the defensive end and then also assist in the point guard responsibilities assisting Jackie until Chelsea is able to return all this to say I think we conclude that the Aces situation is vastly different than every other team right now let's travel over to Seattle just because Nika is not playing right now does not mean the Seattle are going to waive her and trust me, guys, I understand. I understand. We want to see our fave on the court, especially when we see every other rookie out there on the court. We're thinking, like, why is my fave not playing? Y'all need to put her out here. Listen, we have to understand that our view and understanding that what is going on with these teams is so subjective. It's like an iceberg. There's so much underneath we do not see. We're not in these practices. We are not in these locker rooms. We are not. We have this little minuscule insight about what is going on with these teams. There's so much we do not understand and know. And also, take into consideration, point guard is the hardest position to learn. You guys got to grant these players some grace. You know what I mean? Like, yes, it's phenomenal that we have so many rookies coming in and making immediate impact. But also understand that for some players, there is a learning curve. There is a different challenge that may be presented that ultimately holds them back from being able to get playing time right now. If anything, we should be appreciative that Nika is with an organization where she is able to learn, that they are granting her the space to be a rookie and go through those learning curves and, and adjustments because that's not a luxury that all these other teams i.e. the Asia, who listen, you weren't ready, therefore we had to replace you. And in these moments, I just feel like it's important just to have blinders on. And you have to remind yourself that everybody's journey is different. That doesn't mean that the Seattle Storm are conspiring against Nika. It doesn't mean that she's about to get cut. That just means like right now on this team, her role and her responsibilities and what they need from her just looks different. And that's okay.